was looking online for a remote control plane. We had these things as kids and uh, they were a lot of fun. I stumbled across the autopilot that goes in the remote control plane. And that's when the light bulb went off for me and I thought, hey, if I can put this thing in the tractor, it solves a lot of my problems. Farmer Matt Reimer's robot tractor is no top of the line model or prototype, but an eight year old John Deere he tricked out himself. And he's hardly the first. Farmer's homespun hacking is a product of dwindling farm incomes, cheap electronic hardware, and sometimes off-season boredom. Now technology is making its presence felt in the world of farming like never before, in part thanks to the availability of cheap electronic hardware, open source software, and a new generation of farmers who have added coding to their set of skills. The farm economy plays a role too. Sliding prices from everything from meat to melons have U.S. net farm income on pace to fall to $54.8 billion this year, down 55% from 2013, the lowest level since 2002. With less money to spend, some farmers like Reimer have turned to building their own tools suited to their farms, potentially at lower cost. As modern technology and software becomes more accessible, which it does almost on a daily basis, it gets easier to use and customize and build things yourself. Um, we're, I think we're going to see a real tech revolution in ag in terms of what guys can do on their own farm, and that's going to lead to really interesting products. Dirt Tech, a startup run by two farmers and two software engineers, is developing mobile apps that help map soil content across farmers' fields or mark rocks to avoid damaging machinery. Their apps have been downloaded more than 4,500 times. These advances are helping farmers save money that once would have gone to hiring short-term labor something that can be hard to find in distant parts. It didn't decrease the amount of labor I had on the farm, but it just made us so much more efficient. So this year, everything just ran like a top. And uh, we had one of the easiest falls ever because we had, you know, we were able to free up that labor to do other things. So everything on my farm got done this fall. Our fields are all in great shape. Some companies like Deer are wary about farmers modifying tractor software. Corey Reed, head of Deere's Intelligent Solutions Group, said farmers tinkering can yield great innovations, but some limits are needed to ensure safety and regulatory compliance. Reimer says his robot tractor doesn't rely on altering Deere software. What I'm really hoping is that some guys pick up on the work that I've done and start building their own tractors. Um, I think that's the most interesting uh, thing. It's more important that other guys pick up on what I'm doing and start building it themselves because that means that they're going to come up with ideas that I haven't thought of that I can integrate into my own tractor for my own farm.